Big Bad Fox, Benjamin Brenner. Hi guys, book question. I'm gonna read from page 57 of this book. And here we go. Dun 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 dun. Weren't you supposed to find my eggs? Hmm? Yes, yes, can't you see I'm working on it? In fact, this is a book about foxes. I'm studying the beast before I capture it. And that's how you read. I have to really absorb the information. Great, let me help. All right, I'll go, I'll go. Dun dun. Two seconds later. Just kidding. You'll be happy. I have good news. Don't pretend you've already captured the fox. Better than that. Ta-da! My eggs! You found them? But where were they? Uh, over there, hidden under the thing beside the... My hero! Oh, it's nothing. What can I do to thank you? Nothing. Don't mention it. it it's my job. Dun, dun, dun. Say, I have just one question. Dun, dun, dun. You didn't find these eggs in the fridge by any chance? What? How dare you even suggest it? Are you saying I tried to pass off grocery store eggs as yours? Dun, 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 dun. Me? Who's always looking out for you? I'm hurt after all I've done to help you. Please explain how I laid eggs with a sell-by date printed on them. Um, you're overreacting. Ding, 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 Mommy, mommy. What are you doing? <laughs> Have you lost the chicks? Shh! Those idiots follow me everywhere. Even to the toilet where they triple at me like morons. I just want a moment of peace without hearing a single peep. Peep! It seems chickens have very deep maternal bones. Peep! Mommy! Mommy! Peep! Leave me alone! Well, if that's how it is, I'm going to take drastic steps. What are you doing? Are you planning to cook them? No, I'm putting them to bed. In a pot. That's so they'll get used to it. Clang, clang! Come on, kids! Everyone, everybody to bed in the pot! I'm, I, I'll finally have a bit of peace. Pwee! Clang. Nighty night now. Pwee. Right, good evening. Pwee. You hear that? What? I can't hear them now. It's weird, isn't it? They're asleep. Or maybe they suffocated in the pot. No way. But it's still weird. I'll go see if they're all right. Or maybe it's a trap. They stopped screeching to make me think they suffocated so that, so I'll open the pot. Ha ha! Good try, but it won't work. Hush! you wake them up! Can you hear me? Are you sure they aren't dead? Why aren't they answering? Because they're asleep! Wait, I'll listen to see if they're still breathing. I don't hear anything. I have to check if they're still alive. You see, they're not moving anymore. I killed them. No way, they're sleeping. But look, they're not waking up. Stop, you're gonna... Pui! Pui! Ha ha, you're gonna laugh, but they, were, they really were asleep. We worried over nothing. Pui, 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 pui. I'm going now. Dun, dun. Oh, okay. See you tomorrow then. Pui, pui. What drama? Okay, go back to sleep, guys. Pui. Oh.
Also, now they won't go to sleep. Whatever, they'll get tired. Three hours later. E R, you can't be serious. That's enough. Bedtime now. Pui, pui. I'm warning you. If you don't shut up, the big bad fox will come eat you. Eat, bad fox. Ha ha! Does the big bad fox scare you? Well, if you don't behave, he's gonna hear you, and he'll come with his big teeth and big claws. He'll quite quietly slip up to the pot, and he'll gobble you up, chump. So you better behave. Understood? Scared, scared. I did it! I did it! I scared them. So that's what it feels like. It's so intoxicating. They finally understand what a terrifying creature I am. Dun dun! Scared of the big bad fox. Scared. Mommy, protect us from the big bad fox. Dun dun dun. dun. We're in the forest green. No fox to be seen. If the fox were here, he'd eat us. Growl! Eee! The big bad fox. Growl! Dun dun dun. Mwahahahaha! I'm gonna gobble you up. No! There's no use begging. I'm too cruel. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh dang! That must be a piece of last night's turnip. There is that better. Yes, it's gone. So let's start over. No mercy! Don't eat this, mummy. No, no, no! You don't say mummy when I'm playing the cruel fox. I saw it. It's like you're try not even trying to be helpless victims. Sorry. Oh, all right. Go off and play. Yippee! Yes. Kids today, I swear. Mummy, mummy. I said not to call me mummy. Look, an earthworm. Yes, that sure is an earthworm. I want to eat it. Then go ahead, go ahead and eat it. But I don't know how. Just do your thing. No, it's too hard. You gotta try before you can say it's too hard. But I can't. Just try, but it's too hard, mummy, mummy, quick! What? 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 Mummy, look! That leaf—it's yellow. And that's all. Wah! Wah! What? Dun, dun, dun. He ate my earthworm. Is that true? But he wasn't eating it. That's no excuse. Give him back his earthworm. There now, you can eat your earthworm. But I can't. Mummy, what's wrong? The grass is green. The sky is blue. Why is the leaf yellow? Uh, I think it has to do with pigmentation. You see, normally it's green because of the chlorophyll is inside. Hey, are you listening to me? Yes, yes. Paf! Wah! What? What's going on now? He hit me with his stick. Why did you hit him? I didn't mean to. All right then, play times over. Back to work. No, we want to play more. While we're playing, fox who eats the chicks. Let's go. We want to play our own game. We're we're playing my game. Wah! Okay, fine. We'll your we'll play your game. What's your game? Would my lady like a little more tea? Gladly. Would the Duchess Pisadilly would like some more tea, Madam? You're holding your cup backward. 
What do you mean? I'm not holding it backward. This cup is a turnip. Bwah! The Duchess seems a little grouchy today. Knock, knock. What is it? I'm here about that fox. Sorry, I'm busy. I have to go wash the machine thing, and I have a doctor's appointment. Believe me, right after that, Al. I'm not interested. I just need you to sign this authorization for the creation of our club. Club? What club? The Foxes Exterminators Club. And what is this club about? Since you're unable to protect us from that miserable mongrel, we're. St- We're starting a cro- club to pool our knowledge and destroying foxes. This means you'll leave me alone about that idiotic fox. Exactly. Well, great then. Very good idea. I support you wholeheartedly. Happy to have been of service. Blum blum blum. My dear friends, what? The- What the heck are you doing up there? I'm having my first club meeting. Yes. Well, no. Go have your meeting elsewhere. You gave us authorization. I agreed to the club, not for my home to be a soapbox. It was in the contract, Article Four Point One. The doghouse will be the platform for every club meeting. Huh? Okay. Let's start over. What Article Four Point One? That sneaky! It's written in tiny letters. Shh! Is he gonna shut up? Too late. You should have paid attention. As I was saying, welcome to our club for exterminating foxes. On today's agenda, let's start off by listing the faults of our current dog. Girl, dog. Proceed. He's lazy bones. He smells bad. He's ugly. He's stupid. He's useless. He's got no authority. He's cross-eyed. Watch it. Slow down up there. Don't run too fast. Hey, mummy. Hmm. Do you think we'll see the big bad fox for real one day? You see him every day. Huh? The big bad fox is me. No way! That's impossible. Oh, is it? Da-na-na-na. You can't be the big bad fox. You're too nice. For now, but it can't be you. You'd have、uh, have already eaten us. It's not that I don't want to. Eee! The big bad fox. Da-na-na-na-na. See, they know I'm the big bad fox. He's over there. What do you mean over there? Over there, I saw him. He's over there. A terrifying beast. He has a deep, dark voice. Da na na na. So what? I have a deep, dark voice too. Nah, ha.、Huh? Your vo- voice is more nasal and whiny and wobbly too. Kind of pleading too and mournful, like the voice of a dying goat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where's that big bad fox? I'll deal with this ugly mug. You can't miss him. He's at least thirty feet tall, maybe even forty-five. Is he now? And his fur has fur is as dark as night. Black, but foxes have red fur. Hello. There he is. Ah, so you're their big bad fox. Beg your pardon. Hey, it's not him. I'm the big bad fox. No, uh, no way. That's him. No, no, he's nothing but a coward. Dun dun. Look, I'll bust him up, and you'll see I'm the big bad fox. Okay, here goes. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. Can I talk you talk to you for five minutes alone? All right. What's this about? Just one good punch, please. No, I don't mind helping. You scare the rats as long as my reputation isn't harmed. But if others find out you busted my snores, can you imagine my embarrassment? Can you imagine mine? 
Those idiots are terrified of the big bad fox, but they haven't figured out that it's me. Now they think it's you. If I beat you, they'll finally understand I'm the big bad fox. Please, 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 please. Okay, but on one condition. Whatever you want, I'll I get to eat two of your chicks. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun. If you change your mind, fine, it's a deal. So I'll go back. You draw me in, and then I'll give you a good thrashing. Then and then you say I'm the big bad fox, and you run away screaming. Okay? Hey hey, here goes. Oh my, I've lost sight of that big bad fox. Where could he be? I, you'd better go hide while I search for that scoundrel. Dun dun dun. Stay here while I settle the score with that weaving little slug. No, mummy, don't go. He'll eat you. Ha ha! That brainless fat soap. Eat me? What a joke! Hey, who's that hiding in those bushes? Dun 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 dun. Probably that big fat imposter. He'll get what's what's coming to him. Whack! Hey, what's wrong with you? When did you start hitting folks like that? It was a mistake. That's no excuse. Bomb! Dun dun dun! Dun dun! Ha ha! I finally found you, you imposter, the big bad fox. You'll see who the big bad fox is. Hoof! Tiff! Tiff! Path! Dun dun dun! Hmph, paf, paf, all right, you can collapse. Ha ha, now you are falling under my blows. So, no more Mr. Wise Guy. Get your foot off me right now. Oh yeah, sorry. Wow, mommy bit of the big bad fox. It looks like it's working. Now you get up and run away stream, screaming in terror. Sigh. Oh, mercy, let me leave. That's right, get out of here. Oh, my, I'm running away. That fox is way too mean. That'll teach you to pass yourself off as the big, bad, foxy, dirty mongrel. Perfect, let's see the reaction. Dun, dun, dun. Well, do you believe me now? So you really are the big, bad fox? Of course. The big bad fox who eats chicks eats the chicks in the story, exactly. But if that's true, that means that that dun dun dun. That means we're foxes too. Yes. Huh? If mummy's the big bad fox, then we're little bad fox. No, no, no. And I thought we were chicks. But actually, we should be eating chicks, like in the story. No, no, you don't understand. Listen up. Come on, let's go hunt for chicks. Yes. Tremble, wretched chicks. Your doom is nigh. Wahahaha. <laughs> Mummy, we're bored. I don't care. Okay, that's over for now. So wait for next time with the same eager looks you had when you saw the other three on targets. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester. Hope you enjoyed it, guys.